Hello, thank you for spending a little part of your day with us. Uh, we are the last Bandoleros. Uh, today you guys have an extra special treat. You'll notice Emilio over here on the drums. He uh, wrote all the record with us plays on the record. He's a very high in demand uh, songwriter and, and, he's and my musician. Big, he's my big brother. So we'll also, be, Diego's so big brother. So, so in other words, you grabbed him by the ear. So you're coming, yeah, like, you're <laughs> out, you're coming <laughs> with us. So we're very lucky to have him. And, uh, thank you, boys. Yeah. Nice to meet you, y'all. Is that cool? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Just call me up when you want my love. I know your daddy's little girl, and he doesn't have to know. Well, you can come with me. I know. San Antonio, and they've adopted me from New York. Uh, you might wonder how a New Yorker ended up in a Tex-Mex country <laughs> band, so I'll tell you. Uh, my guitar teacher growing up uh, taught me some Chet Atkins, some Jerry Reed. That was kind of my first introduction to country music. And then when I was in college, I was invited on my first of now what's been many cattle drives. And uh, we'd roam the prairie on a horse and push cows in and out of the woods and get them to cooler pastures for the summer and then at, at night you gather around the campfire and we play all these great country songs and one of them used to wake me up with uh, Travis Tritt's It's a Great Day to Be Alive on loop every morning and uh, I fell in love with the genre and being a cowboy and and uh, now breakfast tacos thanks to these guys <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we are now signed to Warner Music Nashville this song is called uh, River Man it's about kicking back after a long day
situation here because we're not a band that lives all in the same city where uh, Derek and I live in Brooklyn New York I'm originally from San Antonio but uh, Derek and I live in Brooklyn and Emilio and Diego live in San Antonio so <clears throat> a lot everybody asks us like how did you guys I mean how does that work how, how does a band that lives in across the country you know um, and it's a kind of unique situation I think it's what makes us special because uh, Diego and Emilio would fly to New York and we would you know take over Derek and I's apartment in Brooklyn um, <laughs> But, or Derek and I would come down to San Antonio. Uh, and this next song we did, <clears throat> that's what we did. Um, Derek and I flew in and all four of us just sort of took over my mom's house. Okay. And she loved it, it was great. Um, <laughs> and well, you know, we just sort of took over her living room, kind of kicked her out, drank all her beers, it was, it was great. And it's, it's kind of awesome because if you've ever been to my mom's house, I mean, you guys have never been to my mom's house, but <laughs> if, you had, if you did go to her mom's house, you would find that like, she loves um, uh, Spanish art and, and Dia de los Muertos, and she loves that uh, those kinds of decorations. And we had this song that had like a Spanish flavor to it, but we didn't have any lyric yet. And when we were coming up with a story, um, you know, we became familiar with uh, the Catrina, the, the flamingo dancer that paints her face, and we conjured up a story uh, about this broken angel of a dancer, and she's kind of headed down on, on a dark road. And, um, so when people ask us about this song, they're like, well, where did that song come from? Like, well, my mom's house decorations. That's what we love the song. Actually, the last time we were in Corpus, we, we played a show, um, was it Day of the Dead or was it Halloween? It was, and, it was Dia of the Lord. It was Dia of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we, we, were, we were down there at that... Uh, it was at the, what's that, Rock... House of, Rock. House, of Rock. House, of Rock. House of Rock, and we all painted our faces you know, uh, stuff, like skulls, yeah. and we did our whole show like that. And then by the end of the show, it looked like we were all we crying. felt like kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, kids are yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, anyway, this song is called "I Don't Want to Know."
after he had success in Tejano, he was fortunate enough to cross over to country and toured with these amazing artists. And so through my daddy, I also found country music and was influenced by country. That's kind of cool because when we're writing this next song we're about to play, uh, it's actually the first song we all wrote together. It sort of started this band. Um, when we're writing it, what we did was we literally took everything that ever influenced us musically all the way back to our traditional roots in Tejano and Tex-Mex music and we poured everything into one song. And that sort of became the blueprint for the last Bandolero sound. And so this is <clears throat> definitely deserves to be our single. Our first <laughs> single, it's called Where Do You Go? <laughs> Oh 